how to sell services on Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can sell your own services on your Squarespace website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is you follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is right here visit the platform of Squarespace. Right there we have the platform then we need to sign in into our dashboard account. Here I'll discriminate everything created in this video such as email addresses and accounts are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. So keep that in mind and use your own information. If you didn't create your website yet, you're going to click on create website. And if you did, you will see the right side here, the uh, website popping. So make sure that your website didn't expire yet. For example, here it, it has given me some trials period for our or my website. So I need not to exceed that duration because it will not uh, longer be um, visible for people. So make sure to set an active website and also buy your own domain to get unlimited access to your website. Right there, we are going to click on create website. And then we are going to set the website for services. For example, what's your site about? I will let right there get and uh, for example, consulting. This is uh, my website, which is about. So I'm going to click on next. Right there, we are going to set something that we are going to sell. Here, what do you want to do with your website? Obviously, we have a lot of choices. So we are going to put some of them. If you need all of them, you're going to set them all you are free. So right here, we are going to set sell services, sell products, memberships. And here we're going to promote maybe a physical business. So go ahead and choose whatever suits you will. I'm going to set also sell online courses. And then we are going to click on next. Here we have two choices. Either you are going to browse the templates from the Squarespace platform, or you can use the feature of Blueprint AI from the same platform to create with the um, AI your website theme. So I'm going to select uh, and browse only the websites. Or well, here we have a lot of templates. You can go ahead and filter them and let them uh, to see only the website that you need to sell. For example, um, let's say that we are going to open a store and sell only services. So we are going to select services, courses. You can go ahead and select or deselect the filters and etc. For example, we have here a lot of inspirational work and also a lot of examples. So go ahead and choose whatever suits you will. Then we are going to proceed to the next step, which is organizing and also adding some settings and editing to the website. If you want to create your website from scratch, you're going to build your own template right there by selecting that on the first part of the uh, page. So I'm going to make something more professional and more appealing. I'm going to use something like uh, right there, one of the colors and also the templates that has been proposed to me. So let's go with maybe I'm going to work with a more professional one. So let's go ahead with this one. This looks um, very professional, also service providing. So I'm going to choose the color palettes from there. And you go ahead and choose whatever colors suits you will. Make sure to make that. And also after you have set the colors uh, standard, you can go ahead and modify them and replace them later. So are going to see right there this one. I'm going to choose this and start working with this design. It will set up the uh, website or the template into your Squarespace account. Then you can go ahead and modify whatever you want from it. Let's go ahead and wait for the website to load up in just a few seconds because Squarespace is very well known for the agility and also the uh, sped up process of loading elements on the platform. So right there, we are going to set the title of the website. Now we are going to set something like, let's go Jack, Jack services, services. And we are going to click on continue. Right there, we have the steps of setting the physical product services, bookable appointment for clients, access to content courses and more. 
this is up to you this is the presentation of the internal services within the website and also the different compartment within it so we are going to click on continue here we have the um the pop-up right there boxes and also promotional messages and here we have the get started button as you can see the website is fully loaded we have everything set so we need to edit first the uh, integration of that website or of the dashboard for the header you can go ahead and customize it add a title or a logo for example here we have the site title if you want to add a logo go ahead and add it from there let's say that we are going to select from the library maybe we are going to upload from these files now let's proceed to the inventory we are going to set the price again for example i'm going to set it 100 you can set an on sale price for example to make the promotional or their uh, attention let's say a sale price of uh, 60 dollars like that and for that stock you're going to let it right there the uh, as unlimited the SKU here we have a SKU code it will give you or generate from you an automatic SKU code the variance you can go ahead and add some variance for example you can add some additional right there options for example we are going to set a consultation you can add an option of let's say custom and this option i'm going to set it here meeting or video meeting like that and you are going to set it like this one and here we have video meeting uh, for the other option i'm going to set another option which is let's say where there uh, uh, i'm going to set a uh, rapid or quick quick consultation consultation like that put it right there click on save and here we have the option we are going to set it option one i'm going to set add on for example one and here add on to for example can go ahead and put for example like this one one two more than one variant here we are going to set variants for example you can go ahead and put whatever you want from these options let's go and proceed to the organization here we are going to categorize the product or the service itself for example you are going to add a category go ahead and add a category for it for example servicing you can go ahead and add it right there select it and this is it the tags it will help you generate more leads and also some traffic to your website and also the product page or the service page so i'm going to put here a website consultation and then we are going to set for example uh, let's say from website uh, consulting consulting and etc now let's proceed to the and uh, get the selling tools here you can add some product add-ons so you are going to set the product right there go ahead and add some products and give it an add-on or a boost to make more sales you can mention it as a featured product for the related products here you are going to set them or right there go ahead and add all of the products or the services that you want to add apply it then you are going to set the related products into your website or the product page you can import or create some product review right there and manage them in this case now let's go and see the marketing options we have the seo which is the search engine optimization and the url you are going to see right there the uh, preview of the website or the page right there on a uh, google for example here we have the website or the url you can edit them like that i'm going to set for example not a generic or generic url so i'm going to set jacks consulting like that and for the seo title website consultation expert 
for example and uh, the seo description you can go ahead and copy paste like that you can make some more and separate them with something like the vertical bar like that uh website right there uh pro consultation consultation like that and etc when you finish click on apply and you will see everything right there uh, showing up uh for the social accounts you can connect some account and make the promotional um uh, tools more efficient and here let's proceed to the checkout which is the last step right there and you can go ahead and add some subscriptions you can add some custom fields and also you can go ahead and click and get a custom button we're going to set a label add to cart apply that for example and here we have it when you finish everything you are going to click on publish and then you are going to see that published when you finish the products you need to add the payment methods Go ahead and add your payment or your favorite payment methods from these three. We have the Stripe, PayPal, and right there, um, Square. And choose your store currency. When you finish that, you are going to proceed to the subscription. If you want to subscribe or add a subscription plan for your subscribers or your uh, clients, and then you are going to publish it again. And here we have it. Don't forget to get your plan on uh, right there, Squarespace. As you can see, we have only 14 days left to trial. Right there, you are going to click on subscribe, select the plan that will suit you well. For example, right there, we're going to use the business, which is the most popular. Also, I see it as a sufficient plan. Go ahead and select it. And don't forget to make everything for the payments methods, make your uh, Stripe account or your square account also with paypal and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one